Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a box and whisker plot, also called a box plot. Now remember, box and whisker plots are a way to display data and the spread of that data. They give us a visual to help us better understand the data. Let's jump into our example where we will make a box and whisker plot to represent the data at the top of the screen. So those numbers at the top of the screen. Let's say that we have 15 people in a class and they had a test that had 50 questions. These are the results as far as answers correct out of the 50 questions. Now the first thing that we need to do is put the data in order from least to greatest. So let's start with the smallest number in value, which is 21 here. So let's start with 21 and then go from there. Now I'm going to cross off numbers as we go along in order to stay organized. Next we have 28, then 33, another 33, 39, another 39, 40, another 40, and then another 40, so three 40s, 42, 45, 46, another 46, 47, and then 48. Now there should be 15 numbers here, so let's double check and make sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now that we have the data in order from least to greatest, we need to find the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. Let's start with the minimum and maximum, which are just the smallest and largest numbers in value. The minimum is 21, and the maximum is 48. So the minimum, 21, and the maximum, 48. Next, let's find the median, so the middle point of the data, the 50th percentile. Since we have 15 numbers in the data set, we will have seven numbers on each side, and the number in the middle will be the median. So with seven numbers on each side, this is our median right here. So 40 is right in the middle. The median, 40. Now that we have the median, we can find the first quartile and the third quartile. Let's start with the first quartile, also called the lower quartile. This is the 25% or one fourth point within the data, the 25th percentile. The first quartile is going to be the median or halfway point of the lower half of the data. So let's look at the lower half here. Now we have seven numbers within that lower half. So there are going to be three numbers on each side and then the lower quartile, that first quartile is going to be the number in the middle, which is going to be 33. So the first quartile, 33. Now let's find the third quartile, also called the upper quartile. This is the 75% or three fourths point within the data, the 75th percentile. The third quartile is going to be the median or halfway point of the upper half of the data. So let's look at the upper half here. Now there are seven numbers in the upper half as well, just like the lower half. So we're going to have three numbers on each side and then that number in the middle is going to be the third quartile and it's going to be 46. The third quartile, again, 
46. Now we have all of the information we need to create the box and whisker plot. We need to start by creating a number line though. So let's take a look at our minimum and maximum because we need to make sure we include all of our data. The minimum is 21 and the maximum is 48. So let's start our number line at 20 and end it at 50. That way, again, we include everything. Now, depending on the data you are working with, you can adjust the number line. So something to keep in mind. But again, for this example, we are going to start at 20 and end at 50. So let's start with 20 here and count by fives. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now let's move on to the box of the box and whisker plot. So that's going to be the first quartile and the third quartile. The first quartile is 33. So let's make a mark at 33 here. And then the third quartile is at 46. So let's make a mark here. And those are the sides that the box or rectangle will extend to. So let's create that rectangle. And that's the box of our box and whisker plot. Again, it goes from the first quartile or lower quartile to the third quartile or upper quartile. Then inside the box, we have the median or second quartile. So that's going to be 40. So let's draw a line here at 40 to represent the median. And then lastly, we have the whiskers, which extend to the minimum and to the maximum. Let's do the minimum first, which is 21. So let's make a mark at 21 and then extend the whisker out to 21. So again, that's the minimum. Now let's extend a whisker to the maximum, which is 48. So let's make a mark at 48 and then extend the whisker to that maximum of 48. And that's our final box and whisker plot. We have the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum represented. Now, one thing you can do if you are drawing out a box and whisker plot by hand is use a ruler in order to make the lines a little straighter than what I did here in this example. So something to keep in mind. So there you have it. There's how to create a box and whisker plot. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.